Hello, everyone. Welcome to Winning Women Wednesday with Lady Renee of Transformation Community Church. Thank you all so much for tuning in today, and I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. Well, today I just stopped by to talk to us a little bit about the pain that we often experience, you know, through life or through some circumstances that come our way is not without purpose. Amen. We look at our circumstances and we can be blinded um, by the pain that our circumstances causes us so much so that we fail to um, see the fact or think about the fact that it may be God that God may be using that pain um, to make us stronger, to draw us closer to him. And then we don't even see God is there with us in the midst of that pain. Amen. And so we, we let go of the fact that we lose sight of the fact of God's promises and that, um, you know, the pain that in our circumstance, in our circumstance, excuse me, it blinds us to God's truth. Amen. And so when we're going through our painful seasons, um, we must remember that all is not lost. Amen. And that we can find hope in the word of God. So I just want to share a few scriptures with you today to hopefully prayerfully to encourage you um, that, you know, God is there with us. He protects us. He rescues us. He strengthens us um, in the time that we're going through these painful circumstances that we often experience in life. Amen. Isaiah 40, 28 and 31 says, do you not know and have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God. He is the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary in his understanding. No one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and he increases the power of those who are weak. Even the youth tire and weary and the uh, strong men and I'm sorry, and the young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary and they will walk and not be faint. Amen. God is always at work for us and through us. Amen. So when we walk in through our painful um, seasons, we ought to be reminded, as scripture has said, God is everlasting. He does not grow tired, nor does he grow weary. He is able and he will give us strength. Amen. Also, the scripture tells us when we're having these heartaches, you know, that God is close to the brokenhearted in Psalms 34 and 18. It says the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and he saved those who are crushed in spirit. Listen, God is not a million miles away. Amen. He is right there with us in the midst of our heartaches. Amen. And it says that he will never leave us. He will walk through us walk with us through our pains, through our trials, through our tribulations. He's not going to leave us to experience those things alone. Amen. And listen, the pain does not last forever. Okay. Joy does come in the morning, right? God also gives us comfort. He is our comforter. Um, he uses our painful seasons to bring comfort to others around us as well. You know, God provides us all the comfort that we need in the midst of our trials. Second Corinthians one, three through four says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any troubles with the comfort that we ourselves have received from God. Amen. God will strengthen us and he will also rescue us in the times of trouble and during our seasons of pain. Amen. Isaiah 41 and 10 says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, and I will uphold you in my righteous right hand. Amen. Psalms 91, 14 through 16, it lets us know that God will rescue us and he will sustain us in our times of trouble. And it goes on to say, because God, because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? And James tells us to count it all joy when we face trials of many kind. Amen. So I just want to leave this with you and please be reminded and remember God will comfort us. He will strengthen us and he will walk with us. He uses our pain for his glorious purpose. Amen. So listen till next time. Know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Be intentional. Love on purpose. Blessings. Blessings.